Hey folks, this is just a quick video that I made to help uh, packing Windward. Now, the makers of this game, El Dorado Games, they came out with a video showing you how to use the insert and packing this. But I found that um, if you're a person that sleeves your cards, it's a little bit more difficult. And so I've kind of come up with an alternate method that may work for you. So I not only sleeve my cards differently, but I, I put my components in different groupings and stuff to make it kind of easier to pull out and play. And this is just something I put together because I feel like it's a little bit a little bit easier to kind of get the game out and play with it. And it still takes advantage of a lot of the cool nooks and crannies that are inside of this insert, which is not a bad insert, but it kind of takes advantage of it in a different way. If you're a person that organizes like I do, uh, I made this for you. And what I've done is I've pulled out, I've, I've broken this down back uh, to just sort of the basics. Now what I have in here already is what they've recommended uh, as far as like the placement of the components in here. So we've got the boats, we've got the, the center ship or the center of uh, the station, the dice, the crew cards, and the small gray cresters already placed in here. But what I've done is uh, I sleeved my cards, and as you can see, uh, what I've done is I've, bro I've broken up the supply cards with like everything else. So the achievements and the special cards and the like the ones that you hand out for how to play the game, the little player aids and stuff, they're separated off into a separate deck. And I did this just because when they're put together, they go up a little bit too far. But if I split them up, I have just enough room to kind of get them both in and have them sleeved. Now they were originally designed to go here, but with the sleeves on, they're just like, oh, they're just, it's so close, but they don't quite fit. So I put this stack in here and this stack in here. And on top of this stack of sleeved cards, I'm going to put the red cresters and the white crester. And what I do is I just try to get them, I try to get them all as flat as I possibly can. Put them all in there as best we can. They can stick up a little bit. It's not going to really hurt anything if they stick up just a little bit here and there. And I don't have to take them off the bases. I can just get them in there. Uh, what they had recommended is putting all of the putting all of the components like for each individual color, like say the green ship. So each of these ships have a number of components too. Like they've got a some achievement awards, some, loyal, some the mates, the crewmates, and you've got the, the longboats and, um, and the little ships to kind of show you uh, the points, different points values and stuff. So I've got them all in here. And I just, I thought this would be so much easier. So th what they recommend you do is you just pour it on top of the ship, but this is so much easier to pull out than to piece all the little components. So I put them in bags like that. And um, I try to flatten them out. The purple one's the hardest because they got like all this stuff in there. But I try to flatten them out the best I can. And I put them in here. This takes up a little more space than perhaps it would the other way, but it's really not, not a lot more especially the blue one that's right in there. Uh, right here, you kind of end up with some wasted space. This is where the crew, little crew guys were supposed to go. It didn't make sense to pull these out every game when you could just have them with the rest of the components for the different colors. And in fact, if you wanted a bit more space, you could cut this out. I chose to leave the box just as it is, but you could, in fact, cut this out and have plenty of room for all the other tokens that I'm gonna be shoving in nooks and crannies all around here. but. This big bag is all the cannons and the, the little gas tokens. This goes right in here. Uh, I've got some extra room on top. So what I'll do is I'll probably stick the teeth. I'll put the teeth in a little bag all to themselves. And these hearts, uh, these hearts that are for other modes of the game can just go right here. Uh, the coffee can just go on top. I, put co I separated the coffee off into a little bag. It's just four chits, but you know. And, uh, and of course these plus two tokens and harpoons, uh, they do fit in right here next to the cards. That all fits in there really good. 
these things then, these are all the different uh, little dashboards for the different ships. And I'll just fit right on top of there. And then this fits right there. And you can tell by the lips here, this is fitting approximately uh, up, almost the same depth. Maybe a little bit higher, but almost the same depth. Then this is going to go in like so. The rest of the map. Let's see. And then the rule book. Place this down. We'll take a look. Pretty flush. It's a little bit up on this side. Just a little bit. Not too bad. But uh, yeah, so that's how you put all this back in there when you sleeve your cards. Which is something I like to do, not everybody likes to do that. We'll save uh, the debate on whether or not to do that for another video, but I thought I'd share it with you. Thanks. So coming up before long will be my review of Windward. I'm going to take this game apart, uh, show you how it plays, and kind of tell you my thoughts on it. All that will be coming up very soon, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.